Welcome to Redbeard and the Den of Tools. Howdy ho, guys and gals. I'm Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the Den of Tools. And today in the Den, we've got our big first grudge match of the Middleweight Toolbox Championships. Come on, say, yeah, the fans go wild. Yeah, we're doing something a little interesting this year, and that is we're going to take a look at all the middle 40-inch, uh, if you would. We're calling them the middleweight tool chests. And we're going to stack them up against each other, see which one comes out on top, and then we're going to grab that one and put it through a torture chest to see if it really does stand up to the rigors of the road, if you will. All right, first up, we've got from the discount tool bins over at Harbor Freight, We've got the U.S. General Series 2 Double Bank Top Chest and Bottom Chest in blue. We got, uh, was it, four, eight drawers on the top. We got one big drawer on the bottom and one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve, thirteen on the bottom. So anyway, this is the classic Harbor Freight tool chest. Uh, you see, you can buy them separately. They don't really sell combos, as it were. And then top chest with the, uh, you know, typical squared top where it lifts up and you can put your tools in there and whatnot. This one, you know, there's lots of accessories for it. You can get side lockers and stuff that you can bolt onto this puppy. And there it is with its bigger brother, the 56 inch, but you can see what it looks like. Oh, look at that. All snazzy looking there, huh? I gotta say, I do like the blue in this. So this one, the top chest comes in at $300. And the bottom chest is $500. Now, these are not sale prices, all right? So you're looking at $800. Now, they do have sales and coupons all the time. You know, we are talking about Harbor Freight here. And uh, let's take a, a look and see what the tail of the tape says, shall we? We got five-inch casters, 13 drawers on the bottom. That was right. The ball bearing slides. Total volume for just the bottom is 14,000 cubic inches. Maximum working load is 2,600 pounds. Product height for the bottom is 40 inches. Uh, product weight is 291. Width is 22. Comes in a shipping weight of 343 pounds. Now remember, warranty on this, unless you get the extended warranty, is 90 days. All right? But it's it's a box, right? So take it back to the shop, load it up, use it a bunch. If it breaks, they'll fix it. If you want... If you're worried about it, get the extended warranty. The specs on the top say that it is also ball bearing slides. It's 11,700 cubic inches. Maximum working load of uh, 1,080 pounds. It's 22 inches high. Uh, has a length of, we were talking about 41 inches. Product weight on the top box is 191. And it has a shipping weight of 217 pounds. All right, that's our contender from Harbor Freight. And next we go over to Home Depot and we check out their new Milwaukee boxes. Here we go. We got a 46 inch, 16 drawer steel tool chest rolling cabinet set, textured red and black mat. Oh, look at that. It's pretty. Now this has a different style. Uh, I don't know what the name of this style would be exactly, but it has almost a semi hutch kind of top where you've got a lot more space up top to leave things, as well as a power strip to plug some stuff in. you got a little pegboard in the back so you could hang stuff, I guess, in that little bitty area. Uh, let's see what kind of specs we got on this. We're looking at ball bearing slides with a weight capacity of 100 pounds each. 20 gauge steel construction provides a total of 27,223 cubic inches of storage capacity, has a weight capacity of 1,800 pounds. The drawer glide capacities are 100 pounds each. We're looking again at a 22 inch deep cabinet, a lid that features gas struts to ensure smooth closing and opening. There you can see we got that nice slide out drawer there you can use for your laptops and whatnot or a little desk area. Right below it, you got a nice shallow drawer for all your little hand tools. We got locking. So not only is there locking on the top, but you got locking for the drawers here separately. Then you've got a power tool storage compartment down below, as well as this power strip on the side where you could mount some of your chargers. That is if you didn't want to, you know, charge them inside. And maybe you don't want to, you know, if you're going to lock that up at night, I don't know if you want to leave something plugged in there charging, you might get a little bit of heat build up. It's definitely a nice looking cabinet. I like the little guards around the bottom there to keep it from getting too dinged up. And I got to admit, I'm always a big fan of the boxy kind of look, and it definitely, definitely has that kind of boxy look to it. So anyway, this, as we said, it's over at Home Depot, and this whole system here comes in. Uh, I like the textured red, by the way. I should mention that. But the whole thing comes in at $798. So that's $798 for the entire, that's top and bottom. 
Not a bad deal. All right, let's see what else Home Depot has for us. Well, let's take a look at their in-house Husky brands. This is the 41 inch 16 drawer tool chest with rolling tooling tool cabinet set in black. Darth cabinet, I guess, right? Again, it has that similar, you know, semi hutch kind of top. It's got the power strip inside. Nice deep drawers on the bottom. Double slides on those lower drawers. Some good solid casters. And again, we got a power strip. Sorry for the grainy picture there. But we got a power strip on the inside. Then we can see the plug in there as well as a pass through for additional electronics. It's a nice basic box. This basic box comes in at a price tag of $649. Definitely see why a lot of people would choose to go this way. Sorry if it sounds like the den is going to blow away. Uh, it's the windy season here in Vegas and <laughs> it's just going to be like that. So anyway, uh, again, we got 100 pound rated ball bearing slides, heavy duty 21 gauge steel construction. As we mentioned, power center, six outlets and two USB ports, premium cut solid drawer liners. This has got 34,129 cubic inches of tool storage with a total weight capacity of 1,400 pounds. So more storage, less weight capacity. Heavy duty five inch casters again, two swivel, with brake and two salt, you know, locked, uh, which isn't bad. I mean, if you're in a small shop, you may want to try replacing those other two so you get four swivels, but for most people, I think that would be fine. And this comes back with a three-year limited warranty. All right, but let's talk about Husky's big brother, shall we? And that's the 44-inch. I should mention the other one was a 41-inch. This is the Husky 41-inch 12-drawer tool chest cabinet combo with extended side table in matte red. So this is the same kind of red you're going to see on the Milwaukee. In fact, there is a shocking resemblance, if you will, between the two. Uncanny, some might say. But anyway, that said, the 44-inch Husky comes in at a price tag of $7.98. Its drawers are rated at 120 pounds and are soft-closed drawers as well. I do like the soft-closed drawers. And it's got heavy-duty 20-gauge steel construction. It's got 120 pound rated drawers and they're soft close as well. I do like the soft close drawers. Two built in power strips, including, or sorry, included to charge power tools. The extended side table, of course, we talked about, which is rated at up to 100 pounds. It's got the uh, pre cut premium drawer sliders. I wonder if everyone has, says they have got pre, uh, discount pre cut drawer sliders. Uh, let's see here. We got five inch casters as well. As well. Again, two of them are swivel with locks and two of them are dedicated straightforward rolling casters. Uh, da, 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 da. Height and weight, we're looking at close to 800 pounds total weight. This comes with a five year warranty. Not too shabby there. Again, you're looking at a price of $7.98 compared to that Milwaukee, which was, oh uh, yeah, $7.98. All right, well, enough for Home Depot for now. Let's go over to their cousins there over at Big Blue. And we'll look, we'll start with the basic, you know, the new Craftsman, because that's what the, uh, let's be honest, that's what the store's becoming, isn't it? So what we got here is a similar demi-hutch, if you would, kind of style. Uh, the bottom cabinet's a seven-drawer steel rolling tool cabinet in black, and it comes in at $600. The top is an eight drawer cabinet coming in at $449. So if you can't get them as a combo there or on sale, you're gonna be spending a bit more to go with Craftsman. Now these are proudly made in the USA with global materials in Sedalia, Missouri. Sedalia, I think it's Sedalia. Double wall, 18 to 20 gauge steel construction with Craftsman frame. 100 pound ball bearing drawer slides operate smoothly even when fully loaded with tools, so they say. Again, we got your typical two locked, two swivels with locks, uh, five inch casters. So uh, we got a couple deep drawers. That bottom right drawer is a slide out drawer for power tool access. I'm getting behind on my pictures here. Let me rotate you through some of these slides. Look at that. You got your little workstation area there. And there's your slide out with your power tools with your power strip down there. The nice thing about that pegboard, it will allow some of the heat to escape, but still it's in the box, so it's not going very far. 
there's your little accessories that it comes with that allow you to add in some little you know side accessory tables and whatnot all right well, let's say you want something a little snazzier shall we well let's step it up to the craftsman 3000 series all right the 3000 series Starts off, we got the bottom cabinet in here at 649. This is a 41 inch cabinet, mind you, not a 44 inch. And the top cabinet is going to run you another $550. So this is going to be a pricey little cabinet compared to a lot of the other ones that we've looked at. But if you look at the fit and finish on this, it's a snazzy little cabinet. Again, we got that kind of semi hutch kind of top on it. There you get a good look at the bottom with the side out drawers and stuff. I do like the handle shapes, the way they bevel in from the side. And, you know, I'm always a sucker for Craftsman Red. Can't, can't help with that. Uh, but again, we're looking at 18 gauge extra deep iframe construction, 120 pound ball bearing drawers with soft clothes. So you don't have to worry about slamming them closed. Uh, we've got a six inch caster supporting up to 3000 pounds, two lock, two swivel, keyed internal locking system, craftsman embossed non-slip drawer liners, cause that's important. Uh, craftsman embossed protective top mat. That's for up there in the hutch area. Recessed full side handles on both sides helps you push around without it catching and, and banging on stuff. It comes with a total of 15,372 inches of cubic storage. Not too shabby. And again, made in the USA with global materials. Hey, you know, at least it's something, right? And last on the list over here at the old Lowe's is their cobalt brand. Now here's something I, I found some difficulty in trying to find a good cobalt cabinet for this comparison. And a reason is a lot of them are being closed out. They were either being closed out or already closed out and they're hard to find. I was, however, able to find this little green bugger. 43.6 inches combo kit for $648. Not a bad price. Again, you're looking at that kind of semi-hutch kind of standard. This is the kind of what I think of as the new norm when it comes to these sorts of cabinets. Uh, the green is, I don't know, it's either, you, it's going to be one of those things you either like it or you don't like it. I don't know, honestly, if it's available in any other colors. I did not see any of them listed. But again, you've got that, that raising hutch or the top hutch on the gas struts. Again, you've got that top hutch lid that raises up on the gas uh, shocks. You've got an integrated power supply, which is a nice convenience. you got two USB, three power supplies. You got a pass through there if you want to put other chargers in. You've got the protective mat embossed with your big K logo. So everyone knows you got a cobalt. Uh, you know, it's it's kind of grown on me. It kind of clashes with that blue, though. Oh my gosh. Not that I'm worried about color, but that just kind of makes you ill. Oh, uh, again, we got ball bearing slides. It looks like we got five inch. Let me check the spec sheet just to make sure. Look at it parked there in that nice little clean garage. Whose garage is that? That ain't mine. Uh, again, we talk about 100-pound uh, capacity on the slides. Yeah, the depth on this is looking interesting. We're looking at drawer dimension chest is 2, two inches by 17.5-inch drawers. So it's a little shallower than some of the other stuff that we've been looking at. It's got a quick set smart key system you can use, recessed handles in the side. That's odd that handle on the other side doesn't look too recessed. 1,200 pound capacity, ball bearing casters, two swivel lock, two rigid, rich powder coated two-tone finish. You know, it kind of grown on me. You know, you know what really helps that? That $648 price. Probably not a bad little DIYer kind of cabinet. All right, so we've looked at Harbor Freight. We've looked at Home Depot. You know, I looked at some of the other places, Ace and whatnot, and they all pretty much end up selling, you know, the same stuff that we see here. Uh, a lot of craftsman stuff and a lot of generics that you can kind of you can buy off of eBay and stuff if you're going that route. Uh, but then we thought, well, you know what? Let's check out the mothership, shall we? Because if we're talking craftsmen, then we must be talking Sears. Yep, and if you saw my Sears video from the other day, you saw this cabinet. You saw the, the bear drooling over this cabinet. This is a combo system. You get the whole thing here as seen top and bottom for $1,198.98. Let's call it $1,200. Call $1,200 or $1,200, right? Uh, it's a 41-inch cabinet. It does have a depth of 24.2 inches, 
Drawer weight capacity, for the top at least, is 100 pounds. Premium weight capacity, 4,000 pounds. Comes fully assembled. Uh, drawer slides are ball bearing. You've got eight drawers up top. And for the bottom, again, 100 pound weight capacity. Total weight capacity of over 1,000 pounds. So if we can combine those two, we're looking at close to 2,000 pounds weight capacity. Not a lot of descriptions online, unfortunately. Would be nice if they gave us more in the details. But I did take a look at this one in person. And I got to say, I was pretty impressed with the fit and finish on it. Again, it's got uh, soft closed drawer slides. There's the top. A nice hutch area with power strip in there like we see on the other ones. Now that drawer on the right hand side, that slides out and that's got an area for your power tools. And again, another power strip in there. You got your little pegboard accessories so you can plug things in and whatnot, hang them off the side. The, uh, these pictures do not give the justice to those uh, the handles there. They're, a, they're not just red, they're a red chrome. It's a beautiful looking cabinet with matching mag wheels. <laughs> That's a bit much, <laughs> but it sure is pretty, right? So anyway, let's say you're not looking to spend that much money, but you still want it the Craftsman name. Well, Sears has got you covered there. They've got their basic Craftsman uh, style system here. You can get this system here as pictured for $700. Now, this is going to be very similar. You're looking at a 41 inch system again here. Uh, the depth, though, is only, at least on the top, is only 16 inches. P pretty shallow. You're getting a nice hutch there. War the drawer weight capacity is 100 pounds. Has integrated locks, three or two handles. Comes with a 10 year general warranty. Uh, six drawers, two banks. So that, that means basically two banks and three. Let me just double check the, uh, the specs on the bottom part to make sure that they're identical. 100 pound uh, soft drawer closes or soft drawer slides. I didn't realize that, that's nice. Thick chrome trim makes it easier to grip the cabinets. Heavy duty locking casters support up to 1500 pounds. The depth on the bottom cabinet is 18 inches. So the bottom cabinet, as I noted, is deeper than the top cabinet. Not by much, but a little bit. And again, as I said, you can get this for a little bit cheaper with that 10 year warranty if Sears is still around. Not too shabby, right? So we've seen the offerings from Home Depot. We've seen the offerings from Harbor Freight. We've seen the offerings from Lowe's and from the Craftsman Mothership at Sears. These are basically the middle of the road, you know, high end or low average D. Average DIYer to small pro shop kind of setups. So then the question is, which one's the winner? Well, <laughs> here's where you come in. So what we're going to do here is we're going to have the audience vote and let you guys decide who really won this one. And then we're going to buy that one. And then we're going to try and kill it. Yep. And how are we going to do this? With a road trip, of course. For those of you familiar to the channel, you know the Bear family here migrates every summer from Las Vegas up to Livingston, Montana. Now you may ask, why in the world would you leave scenic Las Vegas? Shut up, Moto. Why would you leave scenic Las Vegas just as summer's approaching and go up to rainy and wet Livingston, Montana? Because <laughs> Vegas, right? 120 degrees heat? What are you? You're nuts. Anyway, of course we're leaving. So we're going to go up to our place in Livingston, Montana. It's the, you know, if you haven't heard, it's the fourth oldest house in all of Montana. And we're working to preserve it and fix it up. So we got all sorts of this really old house kind of projects coming up this summer. As you can see by this trip here, we're looking one way, 870 miles. What we're going to do is we're going to take this cabinet, load it on this trailer here. This is the, the trailer I got. Everyone seems to think I got the Harbor Freight trailer. It's the Tractor Supply 5x8 foot trailer. I, I really like this trailer. We're going to tow it behind the old family truckster like we do every summer. We're loaded up there. We're going to have it completely filled with tools to the brim. We're going to stop by, maybe see a, you know some family members and stuff. We got their Yellowstone Bear World. We got some family members. You know They're incarcerated. We don't like to talk about that. Then we may swing by a couple Harbor Freights on the way up just to see what's what. Maybe get a new, you know, tarp for the old. By the way, don't get the blue tarps for 
stuff like this. They, they don't hold up. Maybe stop by, see a few more family members. Go through Yellowstone as we normally do. You know, for those of you who don't know, most of Western Yellowstone is under construction. So there's lots of potholes and bumps and dips and rain and water and whatnot. Moose, there's moose. Oh, more family members. Until we get back to the uh, the old homestead there in uh, great old Livingston, Montana, where we're going to work on the house for three months, then turn around and do the same trip all over again. By my figuring, each mile on the roadway is going to equate to at least a full day's use uh, in your shop. Because trust me, uh, a drawer filled full of tools banging in the back of a utility trader going down a highway like that, it, it's going to put a test on that box. And so here's the way it's going to work. I need you to go over here to this site right here and vote for what you think is going to be the best box. Which box here, if you were going to put your hard-earned money on it, is the box that you would want to see tested. And basically, whichever box wins, we're going to run a test on it. And hopefully, if this if we have fun doing this and all goes well, we'll do the same thing again next summer. And we'll just work our way through all these different boxes here and figure out which ones can survive and which ones can't survive. <laughs> Spe speaking of which, now the way I thought about doing this was I was going to reach out to a bunch of the different companies that make these and say, hey, would you be interested? And I did just that. In fact, I talked to the folks over at Strictly Toolbox. And I talked to them about this toolbox right here. I said, we'd be interested. Would you guys be interested in working with us? I told them about our channel and everything. And there's usually this thing you go through with these companies where they want to know who you are and who your audience is and stuff. And we went back and forth and they said, okay, we'd be interested. What is it you're going to do? Well... I told them what we were going to do, and this was their response. Thank you for your reply, Jeff. The 41-inch combination models we have here available here are stationary and not meant to be mobile. Unfortunately, we will not be able to participate in with your experiment. Now, this is interesting because the top portion of that box was the first thing I thought of as like, well, maybe those aren't meant to hold things in place. It would bounce around, and they don't want to see that. And yet... I've seen on their websites of people selling their stuff where they've bolted those boxes right there to the back of like flat, flatbed, you know, uh, pickup trucks and stuff, technical service fleet kind of trucks. So they must be talking about the bottom box or they're just basically saying, we're afraid of your little test there. We don't think we're going to hold up. Interesting fact there, right? So instead of trying to go around all these companies and try to justify it, we're going to go straight to you, the the viewers and subscribers of this channel. And what we're hoping is you'd help us get our, our paws on this box so we can do some damage to it. So we talked about this in the live stream last week and we already have some people who've donated a good chunk of change. But what we're gonna do is if you go here, you can donate towards the toolbox fund to help us get this box for testing and beating on and whatnot. And what we're gonna do is we're any of the, the, top, uh, the top donors are gonna get contacted and you're going to each going to get a drawer with your name or your loved one's name or whatever name you want dedicate to it for the, so for the next year or however long we have that box it's going to show up in all the videos with as uh, with you with your dedicated name there on that drawer the only thing we ask is you know in keeping with the rest of the channel you, you keep it family friendly all right and to uh, and to weigh it a little bit more in the favor of those who step up for every dollar you donate you get one vote so somebody donates $20 they get 20 votes. Anyway, so there's the challenge we got for you there. Let me know your comments down below what you think, who you think is going to win. And be sure to head on over there and put your vote in. And maybe even help support the channel by helping us get this toolbox so we can put it in the back of that trailer and see if it survives the trip. Anyway, at the end of this, I think we'll definitely learn something. We'll definitely learn whether these mid-sized boxes can take it. And if so, which one that you'd be okay with, you know, putting your hard-earned money behind. All right, that's all the bear has for you today. You guys be sure to take care. And remember, as always, shine on.